If there were really a book of secrets, would you like to read it? In the National Treasure franchise, one of the films is titled The Book of Secrets. Supposedly the secret things that one president has passed on to the next and to the next and to the next. If there were a book of secrets, would you like to read it? On the other hand, there are secrets about people that sometimes we find out, sometimes sadly so. You might remember a financier named Epstein who was arrested for abusing numerous teenagers. Turns out that he had a bunch of friends that were in very high places, and they were a little bit embarrassed when his secrets came out. Not long ago, a Hillsong pastor from New York City, who was very, very prominent, some of his secrets came out when he was having illicit relationships with some people that worked in his house. There are secrets we might wonder about. There are secrets we might be shocked by. I want to draw your attention today to Luke chapter 8 and verse 17. There is nothing secret or hidden, Jesus says, that won't be made known. Nothing that's covered over that won't be manifest. What's he talking about? Well, you might realize that Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 says, The things revealed belong to us and our children forever, but the hidden or secret things belong to the Lord our God. And you might remember that in the book of Daniel, there are mysteries, such as Daniel chapter 2, a dream which Nebuchadnezzar has, which Daniel can make known to him about the four kingdoms. But there are some things that are mysteries about God, specifically mysteries about God that Christ revealed. For example, the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus appeared in glory, radiant, light-like, almost terrifying glory. And he told the three disciples with him not to tell anyone. There are things he told them they would understand more fully after he'd been raised from the dead. Here's the idea. There are some things that only a few of the twelve know. There are some things that only the twelve know. They will all come into manifestation at a later point. Written in the Gospels, we have the full record of everything Jesus wanted us to know. With the illumination of the Holy Spirit, we could be taught those things way better than obscure, tricky secrets, way better than someone liking French fries too much or, or drinking too many cups of coffee, way better than the immoral secrets, the secrets of the message of Christ that only sometimes a smaller group within the Twelve Herd, sometimes only the Twelve Herd. All of those are now available to us, but we must be like that fourth seed, holding them in a good and honest heart, bearing fruit with perseverance, receiving them with submission to Christ. All the secrets, they've been made known to us. We are a privileged people. And oh, by the way, when you know the secrets of Christ in the four Gospels, you pretty much know everything you'll ever need to know about the things I talked about Sunday, life, death, sin, salvation, heaven, and hell. You'll know everything you need to know about the really big things in life. Nothing secret that shall not be made known. Nothing hidden that shall not come into manifestation. Thank God for his goodness in revealing to us the fullness of Christ. This is your daily devotional for June 1st. We've turned the calendar page. I hope you're doing well. Seek first the kingdom of God and read your Bible and pray every day and pray for the church. Pray for me. Pray for your friends and neighbors to come to Christ and pray to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you soon.